that's dope. Uh, another thing we're gonna touch on, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a bassa man. You a bassa man? From a bassa man to a bassa man, right? Yeah, we're making it happen. From bassa blue. Ah, please, I'm making you. All right, man. Wait, wait. Which part? Of, which part of bassa you originally from? River says. River says. Yeah. Oh, so I'm from I'm from uh, I'm from Maldives. Oh, okay. But I was born in Bonaz Farm. I was born in Red Light, actually. I was born in Red Light, but I grew up in Bonaz Farm and soaked in there in Red Light. Right. So, sense. you know, shout out to Bonaz Farm, shout out to Red Light, shout out to Soaklander. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So, we the Red Light people, right? Mm -hmm. We want to know the meaning, right? Because you're from Philly. This term is from Philly, right? How can you break down the meaning of the war? Because we hear this war a lot of time in Philly. My daughter, how can you break that down for those who not who, those for those who don't know, like who not Liberian at all? Mm -hmm. How can you break that turn down for them? What's the meaning of that, my daughter? My daughter for American people is the same thing as saying my nigger. Yeah. Uh, what's up, bro? Yeah. Or like Brandon say, my man. Yeah. <coughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. That's why I was singing too. That's when I hear my daughter. It's like you just as you speak it as a you actually, you, you actually really present the word my doctor. You yeah. actually you actually call in the the how you call it degree or achievement. Yeah. As a doctor where yeah. you call yeah. my daughter. My daughter. Because I was trying I was trying to fix it a little yeah. bit. Say my daughter. It's like my daughter. It's like my daughter. My daughter, what's all you my daughter? Yeah, my so when we hear the term my daughter, cause American girl asked me like, yo, when you say my daughter, everybody see you always calling your daughter. I'm like Cause she asked me, I'm like, oh no, it's just like me saying like, yo, what's up, bro? Yeah. Or what's up, big bro? Or what's yeah, up? Yeah. I see you doing your thing. I respect you from the mile away. Just like that to me. Mm -hmm. But I just want to know from your perspective, like, how do you put that? How do you like distract? How do you describe that? That's why I wanted to know. Yeah. That's it. Like saying, mm -hmm. oh, what's up, bro, or something like that. Yeah. So uh, another thing too, Philly got crazy slangs. Mm -hmm. Philly got a lot of different things. Philly got the food. Philly got everything. Yeah. I'm a bossa man. I know you about to get mad at me while I'm about to say <laughs> But the Tupagi, right? It's a Loman thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm that nigga that just fuck with the Tupagi heavy. But you're not Loman man. But I'm not Loman man. So my favorite soup is Tupagi. I just want to know what's your favorite Liberian dish? Dry rice. Dry rice? Mm -hmm. Why dry rice? Dry rice, Cause, cause food. dry rice is a solid dish. Dry rice with Momo and Liberian man. Uh, eat it every day. You know the people that didn't say that they were smoking? You see, you, you gotta do that. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta do what people like that, man. <laughs> but yeah. Dry rice right with Momo. Yeah. Even though, like, the Momo here is ready now, like, yeah. the ones back home, but dry rice with Momo or dry rice with smoked fish, pepper, yeah. bitter ball, egg, fried fish, mm -hmm. you can't do that. Yeah, man. You work, your foreign artist working with you, right? Got you in the gospel song. That's why one of the things people don't know. Mm -hmm. So when we do when we do our research, we do our research crazy. You got a gospel, you got a gospel song with a with a with a, with a Congolese artist. Right? Yeah. And the thing about the record is that I don't understand Swahili. No. But I mess people that speak Swahili. But you had three it was three different artists. It was you, it was Hall, mm -hmm. and was it an artist that got Respect for you more. Yeah. That I heard that you was managing, yeah. and I want to touch on your relationship with that artist. Mm -hmm. When you went on that record, I just want to give you the prop that I respect you for keeping the Liberian culture wise back on the record. But when you was doing that, what was going in your head? Was it like, oh, I gotta keep this hundred percent Liberian because she was speaking Swahili, she was speaking mm -hmm. Ngala, she was speaking different Congolese languages. Mm -hmm. But when you was doing it, because Liberia got sixteen different traps. And you stay, you stay, keep the yen swa, you stay, keep the glipo, you stay, mm -hmm. keep the yeah. everything's coming too. Why was it like you making yourself being proud of your culture? How did you feel making yourself feel proud of your culture? If I would do a feature with somebody and they sh show off, or let me not say show off, or uh, go, let's say, deep in the country, the dollar, mm -hmm. and go English. Yeah. There's just a sign that there's a sound to tell me that listen, mm -hmm. we gotta push our own sound and culture. So mm -hmm. she, she never even needed to even tell me that listen, mm -hmm. you gotta do this. Yeah. Cause I know that she, where she was doing it from, she was doing it from a good place. So I feel like listen, I gotta show up too. Yeah. So I respect that, man. I took it back to Bas to Rero says. 
Like the normal American dream that people have from back home to yeah. to the United States, mm-hmm. and you're gonna come here and see all go down on you're gonna walk on glass, the road, you're not gonna see no charge and everything. Hell yeah. That's, dead. That's not happening. <laughs> so for one you gotta provide for the family. That's and how you gonna do it is it actually depends on you. <laughs> for me, uh 
like I said previously, I'm a family oriented person. Mm-hmm. That's one. Yeah. And music is my space of peace and silence. Yeah. So how I actually balance that? Uh, I got days that I work, mm-hmm. and my days that I don't work. Mm-hmm. That's my days that I take for studio time. So okay. if I'm if I'm not working for like two or uh, two days, mm-hmm. that two days I make the best of that two days yeah. with my music and stuff. Okay, that's the dope. Best of it. That's good, man. For me, I must have to work overnight, so that's why a lot of times you don't see me at parties and tents because I work on that shit. And what I do is that I work from Thursday to Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So you can't catch me any time between those two times between the states. It makes sense. So I mean, the money I'm off. A man gotta do what you gotta do, right? And that's the best thing too. When you off on on the weekdays, nobody can call you and tell you shit. Because when they call you, you want to be the one to call them. Hey, what you doing, man? He said, man, the party on Friday. They be like, yo, I got work on Friday. <laughs> so I off on Wednesday. You want hang? And nobody yeah. want hang on Wednesday. That's true. But um, we we'll see other things coming right now. I heard some unreleased record. You, that you, you played for me. You did. You had the You had the privilege of calling me, and I was in the studio, and then yeah. And uh, I'm not gonna put names out there, but who's that? Who, who the artist that you really excited that you got a record with right now? You really excited to drop that record with right now? Like you think like, oh, you know what? I think this record is the is, is the perfect time for this record right now. I won't say the perfect time, but I'll say the mm-hmm. person that I'm actually on a record with right now. Mm-hmm. That I feel like if you drop that record, it's gonna make mm-hmm. a huge difference. Is Buck. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like? What was that record like? What was the process like coming in together? Because both of you are from Philly, so I know that it's not that hard. Because both of you are from Philly, because at the end of the day, we Philly people, right? Mm-hmm. When we in the city, we don't like each other. When we out of the city, mm-hmm. we going to die together. Like, we're going to ride together to the end. Okay. So, but what was that record like you working with Bucky Rod and your own Philly brother? Because I'm going to call you your Philly brother, because that's how it is in Philly, because that's how we call everybody our brothers. Working with Buck in, in uh, certain senses, like, uh, mm-hmm. Bucky do rap. Yeah. I sing. So, the entire song, mm. the song is, is like, the song, the song was like, I can say, I can say like the vibe. Yeah. The vibe came from Buck. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of like, you feel me? Like, or artists, they actually rap. Yeah. He actually brought that melody vibe to the mm. song because I it's like I had a beat right yeah but uh, when he listened to the beat he grabbed the vibe way before I did. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. it was like it, it was kind of like where when he actually sent me the song and he actually had a melody that actually matched the beat mm. and when I listened to it I'm like yeah yeah. This song is like we actually gotta actually like focus on this song and take our own time and just not like make it like any song that we just gonna go in the studio, just freestyle on or just do anything and then just drop it. Yeah. So I uh, actually took my time and up to now we're still working on this song. The song is not even out of the studio yet. Mm-hmm. So for th- moving forward from as for now, mm-hmm. I don't know when the song gonna be dropping. Yeah. So you guys should just expect the song to be out. Anytime from now, Schoolboy okay. and Bucky Raw coming up soon. So, other than, the, other than the record with Bucky Raw, right? I just want to know, what are you working on right now? Other than that, just that record. Just, just keep that record out of the way, because we already heard about that record. Other than that, what are you working on right now that, we, gotta, that we should be expecting from you right I'm now? I'm working on a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Known stuff, or well, I can say known, or stuff that's known that you already know. Yeah. And other stuff that's... Not mm-hmm. out there. Yeah. Like uh, uh, like right now, I got a song with uh, Phil Caesar that's not out yet. Shout out to Phil I got Caesar. a song with uh, uh, Lib Foreign Shout that's out not Foreign, out man. yet. Yeah. There's like I can say like basically that's like my second team because like I always work with them back and forth. Yeah. Apart from other artists that's in Philly, because mm-hmm. you know Philly got so many artists. Got what? Got like, so what? Thousand like, man. It's a lot. Man. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Take the self as number one. Yeah. So it's like, man. Yeah. It's certain people that I work with. Uh-huh. Like, for for me as an artist, I don't take myself as a bigger artist than other people that yeah. actually do music. Mm-hmm. Cause like I said previously, like I keep my head down, I stay humble. Yeah. If I know that your sound is dope mm-hmm. and and it's good and it's like something that I can actually get on or work with, yeah. of course we're gonna make it happen. 
That makes sense. Yeah, but if you're not gonna find that though. All right, so just to let you know, 